Hello and welcome to Code Carbon. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can write a code to access LLM using Hugging Face and Collab. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's start by naming our project. I'll write Hello World LLM. So what is this code for? This code is to access LLM using hugging face. Always try to have a good documentation of your code from the starting, okay? That will help you along the way. The prerequisite of this video or uh, for this project, we need the first one we need hugging face API token and second one is the lang chain library. Prerequisite. One we need line chain library. And two hugging face API token. Okay. So uh, sometimes Google Collab actually comes with a uh, lang chain install, but for our project, we will uh, install it once again. Okay. So for that, we will use the pip library. Pip install lang chain. So the command is installing the lang chain in our Collab, Google Collab instance. We just install the lang chain library for our project. Uh, so the next is we need to have a hugging face access token to access the hugging face models because we will be using the hugging face models for this project. So for that, first we need to go to the hugging face hub, the web page. So I'm going to the hugging face hub. and go to, uh, uh, if you don't have an account, you have to create an account first. So since I already have an account, uh, so like I'll be just following the process. So go to settings, we have to go to the settings, then to the access tokens, and we need to create a new token. So I'll name, you can name this token anything you want. I'll just name it Google Collab. Okay, it can be a read, doesn't matter. So generate token. So we got the token. So now we just have to copy the token. Okay. Now we have to come back to the project. Now we need to import a library named OIS, which uh, which let the Python instance to communicate with the operating system uh, in the behind. So we can pass the access token directly. So now we need to create a OIS dot environment variable and we have to so we have to name the token so it's hugging face a hugging face up underscore api token so just type hugging copy paste the access token from the hugging face hub so that's it we just have to do that and you'll just run the run the code so okay we just got our prerequisite ready and now we can start coding. Let's import the hugging face up function from the Langchain library. So from Langchain, import hugging face up. Okay, we got it. Now we need to create a variable named repository uh, and we will, uh, we will assign it to the repository name from the hugging face up. So in the hugging face up, the models or all the all the models are stored in as a repository so we just need to copy paste the repository id from the hugging face hub into our variable so let's create the variable name repo id now we need to go to the hugging face hub now go to the models so the model i am uh, i am using here will be the mistral instruct version one uh, so if you are going to use some models, some models need your permission uh, or to you have to agree to access the repository, just like here. So let's follow the procedure. So you just have to click the button. 
agree and access and now you can see the gated model you have been uh, granted access to this model okay now we can just copy paste the uh, we can just copy the repository id so i just i got copied now go back to your code and paste the repository id here okay that's it now we have to create the llm so for that i will be creating a uh, variable name llm first so llm then we have to call the hugging face hub function and we have to pass the repo id so the repo id you can just type repo id now we need to uh, we need to pass the arguments for the model so for that we need to uh, type model keyword arguments model kwa arguments then we need to we will be using two arguments one is the temperature and the other is the um, maximum maximum length so the temperature you are temperature could be 0 0.1 then max length max length will be you can just keep it like 128 okay so the temperature is nothing but the creativity of the model so if you are and it can be from zero to one so if it is zero it will be uh, it will generate the output uh, output exactly to the topic and if it is one it will be creative and it might get hallucinated or it might uh, vary from the topic now let's type the prompt or type of prompt which which can be a question or a statement that that will be passing to the model so for that the question to the prompt to the llm so let's create a variable named question and we'll type the question so what is hello world that will be our question now create a, another variable name response where we will call the llm and we'll pass the pass the question as its arguments question now we will just print the response okay so if we done everything correct uh, when we run this cell we have to get an output so the question or the prompt what is hello world is passed uh, is passed to the llm and the llm gets uh, give us an output and that output is saved in the response and we will be printing the response so let's give it a try wow so we actually just got an output that means we had no errors so let's try let's try to read the answers so what is hello world so this is the prompt what that we sent into the into the llm so that let's see the answer so hello world is a simple program that outputs the text hello world to the screen it is often used as an introduction to programming languages so this is exactly like a regular in uh, output from the llm llm is nothing but a function so you don't have to think uh, a lot about llm so which actually happened to me so first initially i thought llm was something that that will have a lot of functions and all it does but uh, to start uh, to have a start it's nothing so right now what we did is we just create a function and we pass uh, so inside the function we just pass our question and we got an output in the level two we'll be uh, we'll be coding a bit more advanced that uh, than we did in the previous so for that we need two functions the prompt template functions and the llm functions from the lang chain so let's import those functions so from lang chain from lang chain import from templates and llm chain okay so we just import the libraries first so i'll initialize a variable name template for the templates question
and we have to pass in the template as template so the template that we missed uh, that we made above thinking step by step now we need to create the input variable so input variable uh, will be the question that we are passing inside the passing into the model so the in, input variables and we will uh, will name question okay we got something wrong so it's input input variables no time so it, so it's input variables input variables we okay now let's read on okay now we got correct we need to create a chain so for that i will create a variable name llm chain and in that we will call we will call the llm chain function and the first variable is the prompt and we'll pass our prompt so our prompt contains the prompt template and the prompt template has the uh, has a role to think step by step so we just pass the prompt and now we need to pass the llm so the llm we will be using uh, is the llm that we just use a uh, few few back or the few while so that's the hugging phase mistral instruct version one so we just pass it the llm so we just made the chain and uh, so we inside the chain we pass the prompt as well as the llm okay so now we just need to call the functions and pass our question in so let's create the question so it will be i'll create a question to name variable and to will create a question so let's try how to ride a bike oh let's give a how to start a car how to start a car okay now we just need to create uh, we just need to save it as a response or let's directly print it so let's create a print variable and we will call the llm chain and then we will pass our question two as its arguments so we will pass the question two so fingers crossed uh, if i run the cell and if we get the output that means we done it we done everything correct oh we actually did get an output so that means we just done everything correct okay so let's let's read the output made by the mistral instruct llm so the question is how to start a car and the prompt template so we actually got that as well so let's think step by step okay so the first one it says check the fuel level that's true step two check the battery step three check the engine oil step four check the brake fluid check the coolant level it got it has all the steps all the car steps to start a car so in the steps i mean got to get in the car and adjust the adjust the seat and the mirrors step eight put your seat belts insert the key into the ignition so we uh, maybe it's because of the limits so we actually did get an output using uh, so we just call so we just call the llms from the hugging phase uh, through our google collab and we just got an output how cool is that so i hope this video made a little bit sense about llm or this video made a made you a bit close a bit close to code using llms i hope you learn you learned something valuable from this short video if you like this video drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel because i will be uploading more valuable content in the upcoming weeks thank you for watching and happy coding see you soon